A warm welcome to everyone from the Vatican Library, welcoming you to this uh, Augustinianum Institute at the threshold of Vatican City, 550 meters from the library, seven minutes on foot according to Google Maps, 380 meters from the Sistine Chapel, and just cross the Calanate to enter St. Peter's Square. Okay. For more than five and a half centuries, the Vatican Library has been welcoming scholars of all origins. We are proud of this cordial opening and, as far as possible, well organized to researchers who come from all over the world to consult our materials, manuscript, print, and books coins, medals, drawings, art prints. Among the materials kept in the library, there are not only exemplars in the most varied languages that have given us the knowledge, the testimonies, and reflection of men. There is also a variety of discipline, humanistic disciplines, that have created different courses of study at universities, a somewhat universal knowledge, therefore, that touches the various literatures for classics, history, geography, arts, architecture, numismatic, music, sciences, medicine, law, philosophy, liturgy, theology. However, this is the first time that we welcome such a great group of computer experts and we host a conference of such high scientific level, specifically linked to interoperability. Not only are we pleased, but we seem to be coherent with the universality of the preceding times in consonance with our mission. I would add that the title of the web page where this conference is presented sounds really appropriate. 2017 International Image Interoperability Framework Conference, the Vatican. So, <laughs> 10 years ago, I was named prefect and I had a clear idea of the tradition of study and service to scholars of the Vatican Library. I soon learned that the library was not a treasure to be kept under mothballs, but it was a place of continuous innovation in order to better promote the consultation of the good stored here. Today, this better way is called interoperability. I close with a more general thought. Sometimes we in the library, we say that the Vatican Library is a place of dialogue, of discussion, because culture is growth and dialogue. It is wonderful to ascertain such a close and profitable dialogue between computer science and the library. A dialogue, a dialogue that does not confuse each other's identities but it enables in uh, enhance their competencies, competencies by putting them to reciprocal service. Thank you for your presence. Uh, good morning. I would like uh, to welcome you with a, a personal story, short personal story. <laughs> the, first time, the first time I met my friend Mike Keller, Vice Provost and University Librarian at Stanford University, was in 2000, when the Long Now Foundation and Stanford University libraries, libraries held the 10,000 year library conference. About 30 invitees from around the world debated on what kinds of materials a library should collect in the year 10,000. We pondered the ways to ensure the transmission of the documents 
of previous and current generations to the future ones. We also discussed the role of research libraries at the times of accelerating technology and in the light of a global civilization. We were aware that libraries needed to be rethought in order to develop and implement resources with the support of new technologies. Our conversations went beyond the conference schedule. I remember talking with Mike as we were admiring the 4th of July fireworks from the Palo Alto Hills, or later while testing an amazing barbecue in the wonderful garden created by Mike's wife. We also talked about our adolescent, adolescent children, one of which is getting married in the coming days, giving Mike a reason to leave this morning for the States. In these, hope, in these happy moments, we dreamt of advanced online publication and new access to information. The library's collections and the digital materials we imagined would be freely available through the web and somehow linked to each other. Today, I think that uh, IIIF is the most appropriate answer to the questions and hopes that we had 17 years ago. Access to image-based resources is fundamental to research, scholarship, and the transmission of cultural knowledge. We know that uh, digital images are not just what we see, but also a container for much of the information content in the web-based delivery of images, books, newspapers, manuscripts, and other materials. 17 years ago, we shared concerns about the instability of digital information technologies. All of us had experienced issues with the rapidly changing software and hardware systems. We had seen the decline of the floppy disk. We wondered whether CD-ROM would last. In response to these instability concerns, today we are working to move, I would say, to move from incompatibility to interoperability, defining a set of common application programming interfaces that support interoperability between image repositories. We are setting a standard that allows access to digital images and metadata. In the past, we sought to focus our collective creativity on the next 10,000 years, and today, the IIIF community, with its, its founding members, is carrying out this thought. Thank you for being here. I, I wish you a productive and enjoyable conference, and a good stay in Rome and at the Vatican. <laughs>